Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a new session as an AAF or OMF sequence file, or with only a specific subset of the original session's tracks. The functions I'll be covering specifically are found under the file menu. When you click the export menu listing, selected tracks as new AAF slash OMF and selected tracks as new session. So a quick bit of background of these two file formats. The letters AAF stand for Advanced Authoring Format. OMF stands for Open Media Framework. Both of these file types are used by many Pro Tools users for workflows where you need to be able to go back and forth between Pro Tools and one of Avid's video production products or for session interchange between Pro Tools and other DAWs such as Cubase, Nuendo, Logic, and Digital Performer. Another quick note about AAF and OMF sequences is that when they are exported from Pro Tools into a different DAW or video production system, they do not support video files being embedded. They also do not retain information about plugin assignments, parameters, markers, routing, or grouping. It's mainly just the clips you're going to be working with. So let's go through the process one time. First, we'll select the tracks that we wish to export as a new AAF OMF. In this case, the drums. Now that we've done that, we'll go up to the file menu and choose export, then selected tracks as new AAF or OMF. Once we've clicked this menu selection, we get a dialog that gives various options. Many of them you may notice have to do with post-production options, time code, sent rate conversion, etc. OMF and AAF options are quite often used with Avid video production systems, such as Media Composer and others. So just getting back to the dialog box for a moment, you can see that we have our export as type parameter. We have the project's timecode format, whether there's sample rate conversion involved, as well as all of our audio media options, including the file format, bit depth, and which copy option you wish to use. Then we just hit OK. And we are presented with a dialog that lets you type some additional comments. Once you click OK on that, you then will get the save dialog that lets you determine what you wish to call this file and where on your computer you want to save it to. So the next function we'll discuss is exporting selected tracks as a new session. This feature is especially useful in collaborative situations. Two examples that come to mind are you might be working on an audio session and you need your collaborator to work on the vocals in the session while you work on the drum tracks. Or perhaps you're working with a large post-production session and you want your collaborator to work only on the dialogue tracks while you continue to work on effects and music. Some other applications include the ability to quickly send sessions with only the elements requested for rehearsals, dance remixes, live shows, backing tracks, as well as archiving applications. So if we launch the export tracks as new session function, we see that it looks just like our standard save session copy window, except on the bottom left-hand corner, you have this checkbox selected tracks only. This is a big difference from previous versions of Pro Tools where you had to save your whole session or you had to just delete tracks, then save as a new version so you didn't do anything to your original song, then create a brand new session with only the tracks desired. This is a much quicker process. Once you've chosen all these parameters, you're simply going to check that box, hit OK, and now only our drums are going to export out of Pro Tools. Well, that's a quick overview of some of the new export functions in Pro Tools 10 and 11. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. And until next time, this is Jeff from Obedia. Have a good one.